गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू चेक दिस एक्सरसाइज एट फ्रॉम योर लैब बुक दैट इज एसक्यूर सेट ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट वी विल सी थेरी पार्ट हियर देन आई विल शो द प्रैक्टिकल एसक्यूर सेट ऑपरेशन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू कंबाइन क्वेरीज यूजिंग सेट ऑपरेटर्स these are the set operators union union all intersect and except all set operators have equal precedence so here we are going to learn about union set operator then union all intersect and except so i have checked already all these operators only these operators are working with the sql now union union all and intersect except and intersect all is not working you can check from your side also if is there any other compiler you can check intersect all and except over there first i will tell you theory about these set operators union union means it is going to combine the rows of two tables we will fire queries of two tables and we have to combine we have to show the combined result of that two table so for this union union all if you want to apply these operators then two table attribute should be same attribute columns how number of attributes and its type should be same what type of value it is going to store then and then only we can perform these operator set operations so first is the union it returns the union of two sets of values here we are going to eliminate duplicates if two tables are there and two tables are going to contain same type of values then it will eliminate duplicate value it will show only one value here if you are using union set operator union of two set of values means here we are using two tables that is a union of two set of values and eliminating duplicates so duplicate values are removed from here then union all union all it will keep the duplicate values as it is it will retain duplicate values which we have removed from in the which we have removed in the union if you want to show duplicate values also then you can use union all it returns the union of two set of values retaining all duplicates so here is the first table query and here one is the second table query in between you have to use union all this is the second set operator now third is the intersect it returns the intersection means which are common things from this two table we are using here two table select query which are common things from this two table that will be displayed to you it returns the intersection of two set of values here it will eliminate the duplicates only one record it will show which are common in two tables so it will eliminate that duplicate record intersect all we will see theory part only this part is not working at my side but it like union all only here it will keep the duplicate values which we are eliminating here only single value which is common in both table that we are going to show here here we will show both the values from this table also and this table also so it will retain duplicate value it is also intersection of two sets of value only common value it will show but it will show the common values from both tables next except this also not working at my side you check at your cell if it is working you can show to all students it will return the difference between two set of values we have two tables so it will show the difference between what is extra in this table in this first table that it will show which is common that will be deleted 
and what is extra in the first table it will work like a 10 minus 5 so we are going to minus thing for minus the things from the first value so 5 will be minus remaining 5 is from the first value so here also we are going to do the same thing what is remaining in the first table which is not available in the second one that is going to show as a output of this except it returns the difference between two set of values that is return all the values from set one not contained in set two and eliminates duplicates so if all word is not there it is going to eliminate duplicate values and accept all it returns the difference between two set of values that returns all the values from the set one not contained in set two and retain all duplicates so it will show the duplicates value also so we will check the practical part of this first i will show you this union union all and intersect using different table then we will solve the exercise which is given here using their tables first i will show union you can try with me so i have already created here tables and values also which this table we have already created department so create the two tables first is the department and second one is the department one all the attributes are same just copy it create table department execute table created same only change the name because for union intersect union all we need common attributes in the board table so we will create the two table first is the department and second one is the department one next we will insert the records some records we have to keep common in the board table so it will show the union uh, result as well as intersection result how we can show the same result means common result using intersection how we can uh, remove duplicate records that we have to show so some records are same i have inserted all the values so i will take first in the department i will insert the values record one is there a finance department which is in pune then second all the records are inserted second is the purchase department which is in mumbai then third is the inventory department which is in karar fourth is the hr department which is in kolapur so these are the records of first table that I have shown here. Four records. Then for the department one, I will insert some common records. Here, finance, Pune, inventory is the second department which is in Mumbai. Then purchase is, is in Karad, HR is in Kolapur, and computer, this one I have inserted new in this department one execute rows are inserted so it will show these records these five records for department one and this is the department only department so one finance pune this is common in both and which is second common record hr and kolapur yes fourth hr and kolapur so two rows are there which are common in both table other things i have changed uh, their location for the inventory and purchase inventory and purchase i have changed the location only in that second department so these tables are created now we will execute this union command so location wise we can show union command select location from department directly you can write star also it will show all the record here we will get only city names select location from department union 
this is your first table statement then union select location from department 1 order by location so this is this is your here don't use this this is your query execute this union result it will remove duplicate records if you check karad is available in department and department 1 both table this is also available mumbai is also available pune is also available so these four records are duplicate which are available in both table but we are using union so it will show all the records only one time and this one is the extra record in department 1 so that is also going to show because we are going to use union clause or union set operation so it will combine the result of department as well as result of department 1 but only one time it will show the duplicate records understood this union yes ma'am so same thing we can show using star so all the record it will show here we are going to get only location if you want to show all the records all the attributes of table then using this we can show so here if you check duplicate records no no duplicate record two are going to coming two time because this is the first table record and this is second table record and if you check this department name is different that's why it is going to show two repeatedly same three is going to show repeatedly because inventory and purchase these are different thing for this 3 3 and karad karad these two things are common but these two things are different so using that different it is showing these two records then fourth is hr department and fifth one is computer department only location is there so location wise it will show pune mumbai one time karad one time kolhapur and rajasthan but here we are going to check star from department as well as star from department one. all records so it will check the first record and with the table second also it will check if this record is available in the second table it is going to show one time only this record is available in the second table also so it is show shown here one time only but here is the difference between the department name so this is going to show from the two tables this is first table record and this is second table understood this part start from department yes now we will use union all here so here we are going to show duplicate records also we will retain duplicate records so we will show all the uh, fields attribute because here we are going to show the order by department number if you want to use order by by using any column then we have to use this column attribute here attribute name of that column here so instead of writing only department number show the department number to you all i am showing here all the attributes so select d number d name location for dep from department union all select department number department name location from department 1 order by department number execute it what is remaining so this is the union all it will show the duplicate records also you can check this is the first table record and this is the second table record this record second record is eliminated in union clause but here we are using union all means it will show the uh, both table records if it is duplicate that record also shown here for the second table this is unique one because of this name 
third also unique one because of name difference this is common in both table then also we are going to show because of union all and this is the last record computer rajasthan clear union all yes yes ma'am you can directly use star operator also there you have to remove this order by if you want to use star then order by will not work it will show random records here first uh, four records of this department one then remaining record records of department sorry department and then department one records are going to show here if you write order by it will show on the basis of this department number first record will become first from both the table then second department record will come second from both the table okay clear union all understood this yes ma'am now next how union all is working now same intersect all is not working all is not working there intersect is working so now we will use intersect so using this intersect we will get the common records which are the common record this one uh, finance pune and four hr kolapur these two records are common in both table that we will get by using intersect here one finance pune and four hr kolapur so these two records you will get by using intersect you can use directly star also that time remove order by clear intersect yes clear this intersect it will show common yeah. records from both the table so if you use here all it is not working so you can check this uh, this statement at your side if it is working then it's fine but here it is not working on this software but all means it will show all the uh, repeated records if we are using all we will get these two record two times means one finance pune again it will show one finance pune then four hr kolapur four hr kolapur so that is the result of intersect all now except is also not working here except is also not working not properly ended so this error i am getting so you can check at your side also so you can tell me what is the result of what is the output of except i will show you union record so or you can check from this table yes. from this table this first record is from department and second record is from department 1 so if i will use except except means it will work like a subtraction a minus b so department minus department 1 which are common things that is going to eliminate and what is remaining in department that will be your result of except so can you tell me the result of except from this table it will show both the table values yes a result of except
स्टूडेंट्स वट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्सेप्ट विच रिकॉर्ड इट विल शो एज अ आउटपुट विच आर कॉमन थिंग्स इन बोर्ड टेबल यू हैव टू रिमूव दैट एंड वॉट इज रिमेनिंग इन फर्स्ट टेबल दैट इज डिपार्टमेंट टेबल दैट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ एक्सेप्ट yes computers that is in second table computer we have done department minus department 1 so computer is a, is in department 1 so it will not come check attribute wise don't think about first attribute only which is common here also this attribute common we have to check this also this also if something difference is there that record is available the first record is from table 1 second this is the second table record same this is department table this is department 1 this is department department 1 this is department 1 only check in between these four records 1 2 3 4 which is the output of except do the subtraction which is uncommon only that record will be display from department only don't uh, think about department one record purchase purchase means second this one okay next inventory third one is there any one record any other record computer computer is from department 1 if you write department 1 minus department then computer will come which is first table that records are going to show here as a output of except so only two records will be there if we keep department as our first table minus department 1 so purchase is from first table so that is going to display because of inventory and purchase this is two different department this number is same location is same but departments are different so this is from first table and this is from second table so first time first table record will be display as output then here also three is common uh, city location is common but department name is different so which is from first table this one so that is going to show this is going to minus this is going to minus so zero will be there and this record is not available in first table so only two record will be there from department minus department except uh, set operation using except set operation understood yes understood this yes ma'am yes here in the except all it will return the difference between two set of values it will return the all values from set 1 not contain in set 2 all values from set 1 not contain in set 2 retains all duplicate values they are saying this but this will work on particular column only because primary key field will not be duplicate here we are going to get only set one data as per this except all 
we are going to get only set one data and in set one there is no duplicate record because of primary key so you can work on particular column for example city that column could be double so you can use column particular column and on that column you can use this except all or other thing primary key should not be there then if you are using except all primary key should not be there so it will take same record again in the table so this except all will retain all duplicate values of set 1 also so these are the set operation now we will work with the queries first we have to create two tables employee and investor check which id is available in which id we have to write in which table check first here primary keys are underlined they have mentioned this but primary keys are not given here so we have to assume that this is id this is a primary key and here inventory number this is a primary key so employee id is primary key for employee and investor number is primary key for investor now check the question an employee may invest in one or more investment so which id will come in which table on the basis of this an employee may invest in one or more investments yes whether employee id will go in the investor or investor number will go into the employee as a new attribute yes speak students see employee may invest in one or more investment employee id in investor employee id will be in investor so same employee id we can use here as a foreign key but investment number will be different that is primary key here so invest in more than one investment so employee id we have to write here to create table accordingly employee as it is in the investor we have to add one more column that is investor uh, sorry employee id that will be a foreign key what they have written hence he can be an investor okay but an investor need not be an employee of the firm so here here could be other things also he should not he could not be a need not be a employee of the firm there is no compulsion that employee should be a uh, that particular investor should be a employee of the firm then create the relations accordingly so that the relationship hand is handled properly and the relations are in normalized form assume appropriate data types for the attributes add any new attributes as required so we have added attribute employee id into investor as per requirement insert sufficient number of records in the relation so on the basis of queries also we are going to insert the records so what type of data they want these are the four queries So, what type of data they want on the basis of that we can show the result. So, first the create the tables. Do it fast. First, create the tables. Employee and investor. Yes. Do it fast. employee emp id uh, 
memory key not null you have to choose this attribute they have not mentioned anything address Table is created. Employee table. Now create second table investor. We'll take this number first. Tell me about foreign key. How to write foreign key? Yes. Are you working right? Yes. Students, I am talking with you. Are you doing? I can't hear you. Yes. No? Yes, ma'am. Constraint. Hmm. Hmm. What is the name of the constraint we are using? Employee ID. So, EMP ID. Foreign key. Unmute yourself. References. Hmm? The table. E I think we have to use foreign key before this, right? Yes, foreign key. Foreign key. After that. Yes. Go ahead. After foreign key, what? Employee. Hmm. Next. References. Next. Parent table. Hmm.
that's it yes miss we have to add column also here with this table we have to show column also how to show that हम्म बताओ जल्दी फास्ट स्टूडेंट्स मैम देर आर मेनी वेज टू यू असाइन फॉरेन के सी वी हैव रिटन दिस वे व्हाट इज हियर आई एम आस्किंग एंड वी हैव यूज्ड दिस वे ओनली मोस्टली अभी बोलो इट इज गिविंग एरर वॉट इज रिमेनिंग हियर इन ब्रैकेट देन ऑल्सो इट इज गिविंग एरर चेक वॉट इज रिमेनिंग See if such type of error is there, you cannot insert record into this table, and you can cannot show your query result to the external. So tell me the correct statement. How to create foreign key? In this way only. We are using this way right now. What is wrong here? fast i am waiting for you only i will not tell now mam constraint ke baad f ke fir employ aa gaya tha ke Here, no. Constant EMP ID means EMP underscore ID. This one. Yes, miss. That is EMP. user defined user defined name for your foreign. Mm -hmm. you have not stored any file which we have work on previous exercise ha huh? in that exercise also we have created foreign key can't you check there table or view does not exist what is the table name emp so here brackets are required now your table is created
now insert the values which are common some values should be common so maybe because of that uh, employee id which is here using that we are going to fetch the records so first insert the values into employee table same way you can add more records we will check the values when we are going to execute queries what type of values that query need so accordingly we will add more records into this we have 1 2 3 employee three employees are there and these are the emp id that we will insert into this investor table so insert into investor values integer in investment name investor name date last amount amount and id 2000 amount and id is 1 it is working now we can insert more record add here also two three records Now check the queries. On the basis of that query, also we will insert the record. What we have to search? You will use union or intersect. What we have to show that is next. Listing names of customers. who are either employees or investor or both so here we are going to apply union clause on both table 
so here we have to check the names only otherwise this will not work because uh, fields are different in both table in the investor and employee fields are different so we will work on the name only that contains same type of value this column is going to contain same type of value so write the query accordingly let's tell me the first query we have to work with the employee table what we have to search name of employee check the question distinct name of customers both are customers he is the employee of one organization and he is the invest investor he is working somewhere we are not thinking about the organization so here employee name is in employee table how we can get this employee name from the employee table tell me the select query select emp name from em emp table emp underscore name from emp now union next next table here investor select invest investor name from investor this is first table it will show we have insert query here in the first table we have inserted rajesh samir and rani rajesh rani and samir is here in the second table sam sujay zahir and rajesh i have inserted this duplicate name so this name will be removed so from the second table only three records should be there sam sujay and zahir sam sujay and zahir so this rajesh is going to show only one time so this is the query select emp name from employee union select investor name from investor clear ma'am what is the use of union clause you came late yes ma'am combines records from two table it will show combined record of two table here in the resultant but it will remove duplicate records so rajesh is available in the second table also yes ma'am so that is shown only one time but here if you use union all it will show duplicate records rajesh will be shown again so here rajesh is duplicate here also and here also yes ma'am but in the question they told that we have to show distinct names so we will use union only so this is the result of this query first query understood everyone yes ma'am now you will tell me second query only you have to think about which operator we have to use whether it is union or intersect this is the first question the second read it carefully then you can tell me which operator we have to use list the names of customers who are either employees or investors or both yes a union all yes here we have to use a union all he is either employee as well as investor but we, here they have not said distinct names so union all will be the set operation understood everyone remaining students 
So in the result, it will show Rajesh twice. Union all. Execute. Take a screenshot. Now next, uh, next question. List the names of employees who are also investors. Which operator we have to use? Think about that first. Other things are same, query is same. Only we have to change the operator. There also we have to get the names. List the names of employees who are also investors. So we have to find out the records which is in employee table also and same record available in the investor table also. Except. Except it will delete that record, which is common. Yes, list the name of employees who are also investors. Are you getting something? Yes. See, Rajesh is employee also. What is his employee ID? One. And he is investor also. Got the thing? Yes. Use the intersect. Common thing we have to get. Use the intersect. There in intersect all is not working. Only intersect we will work with this, which is common in between these two table. That is the result. This Rajesh is employee also and he is an investor also. So that is the result of this query, third query. Now in the fourth one, you can think about Except we will write the query that is not going to execute because it is not working. But we can write the query. Our fourth one is read the question carefully. List the name of employees who are not investors. Yes. Which Operator we have to use. List the name of employees who are not investors. Means that we have to show the employee name which is not in the investor table. And focus should be on employee table. What are the records are there into employee table? Which record is not available in the investor table? That record we have to show. So here which operator we can use intersect union or accept 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 that operator we can use so directly write query here because that is not working over there if you can check we have query we will use that only Here only except what it will do it will work like for example a minus b which is common that will be deleted and what is remaining into this a only that record we have to show 
so it will show us emp name tell me the output samir and rani share yes this is second table and here is the first this rajesh is duplicate so that will be deleted only samir and rani these two records are available into emp table so that will be display so samir and rani is the output and if there is question list the name of investors who are not employee then what is the output that time we have to write this table first list the name of investors who are not employee if if the question is change we will write this table first employee table in the next and check the result this is going to repeat so which are unique for this table sam sujay and zahir so this will be the output clear yes ma'am so this question is done now there is one more question you can work with this you check this question second question is for you you try this question if there is any problem you can ping me ma'am hmm? ma'am what is the use of intersect intersect see ट्वेल्थ मैथ्स था आपको मैथ्स था ना सेट थ्री थी ना फिर ट्वेल्थ में कि नहीं है आपको अभी इंटरसेक्शन हम्म सेट थ्री ये ऐसा ही था ना मैथ्स में ऐसा ही दिखाते हैं सेट थ्री टू सेट्स टू सेट्स बताते थे मैथ्स में सेट ए में कुछ नंबर रहते हैं सेट बी में कुछ नंबर्स रहते हैं और जो कॉमन नंबर रहते हैं ना इसके इसके बीच में ये अभी यहाँ पे लाइन नहीं दिख रही है ना इसके बीच में ये कॉमन नंबर जो आते हैं दैट इज इंटरसेक्शन रिजल्ट विच आर कॉमन इन बोथ सेट जैसे कि सेट ए ऐसे लिखते थे सेट ए और उसके नंबर्स रहते थे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सेट बी टू फोर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो यूनियन दिस इज ए यूनियन बी मीन्स वी हैव टू कंबाइन बोथ द सेट्स एंड विच आर रिपीटेड ओनली वन टाइम यू कैन स्पेसिफाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन फॉर यूनियन रिजल्ट इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन Eight, nine. That is available in some records are available in the set B also. But yes. one more record is in the set B. That is ten. ten. That also we are going to show in the union. Union हो गई. बोलते हैं ना हम union हो गई. तो दोनों इकट्ठा आ गए. Intersection means उल्टा U रहता है. देखो. अभी इसमें कहाँ से दिखाओ? हाँ. उल्टा U रहता है. Intersection yes, में. तो उसका अगर रिजल्ट आप देखेंगे तो विच रिकॉर्ड्स आर कॉमन इन बोथ सेट फॉर एग्जांपल दिस टू नाउ दिस सेट ए हैविंग मोर रिकॉर्ड्स सो यू कैन कंपेयर दिस रिकॉर्ड विद द सेट ए टू इज अवेलेबल इन द सेट ए आल्सो सो राइट टू इन द इंटरसेक्शन रिजल्ट देन फोर फोर इज आल्सो अवेलेबल टिल नाइन टू फोर सिक्स सेवन टिल नाइन so this is the result of intersection a intersect b okay and a yes. minus b that is except hmm? except one is there that we are going to do minus a minus b it is available in the a and not in the b that is the result of a minus b One is available in the A, not in the B. So one B. is the 
one is coming here as output two is available in the board table three. minus 2 minus 2 zero remove three minus here three is not available three then four is available yes five is not there in the b preference is for a check the records from a which is not available in the b you can write that as a output then after five check six is available minus delete it seven is available eight is available nine is available so here set a is end so this is the result of a minus b means except we are using except here a except b and b except a focus on b table first two is available delete it four is three. also available delete it no no three is not in the b table Achha, focus b on table. these num numbers only b minus a focus on these number which is not available in a only that record you will show as a output here so 2 4 6 7 8 9 all are available i think so right yes is available ten. is available only 10 is available so only 10 so this is the except except working of except operator here is the intersection and this is the union clear yes ma'am so you can work with the second question create two tables student and subject check the which primary key we can use in another table and work with these questions so on the basis of this uh, query you can insert the records to check the output and if there is any problem you can ask me in the next lecture you can tell me whether it is working or not or you can send me the questions answer or if there is any problem you can ask me any time so we will stop here only work with the exercise 8 so only one more exercise is remaining joins so this left outer join right outer join that is also work like except so we will check that part here in the next exercise and last one is the case study case study is given to you on the basis of case study you have to think how to use the queries here so next lecture we will check we will go go with the theory also some part of theory one last chapter is remaining we will go with the theory as well as we will check exercises also so we will stop here only thank you all